Hey you guys, what's another episode of this one on the show? I about to do a kind of different review because usually I don't review Astro regular American cartoons or something that got to do with DC unless it's an Astro movie, live action movie. But since this is a animation movie, it still count as a Astro movie review. So, Batman Bad Blood. Before I even dive into this, y'all need to go and immediately watch this movie. It is cold. I believe it's a sequel to the son of Batman because they got Damien, aka Bruce Ray and son. Well, Natalia, Natalia, yeah, Natalia and um, Bruce Wayne's son, and he's he's just a he's a a total very cocky ass, arrogant ass kid, and he's very likable. But this story of Bad Blood actually like take place uh, when Bruce Wayne get kidnapped and Natalia trying to uh, watch his well. Brain watch him to get him to come on her side, and she tried to actually brain watch the entire Wayne Enterprise in, in order to actually take over that Enterprise. And basically, have all the money, and basically, she's going to probably going to advance all a little bit farther, try to control the entire world. And we got Luke, aka Back Rain, the guy that got technology on his side, and he got that because his dad made a tech. We got Catherine or Kate, aka Batwoman. A girl with a troubled past, and her mom and her sister got killed because you know her dad would do like a soldier, and he had to come and save them. But he only made a matter to say Kate, and she like Batman, but she like to like literally use guns. But she pretty badass too. However, she got in the way of Batman, and she end up getting um, Batman fucked up because he had to save her damn life. Cause he said he only knew if he should take her under his wing. Or if he could take her down because how unstable she was due to her upbringing. Now Dick Gracie, aka uh, Robin, the dude for Teen Titan. Apparently he go with Starfire in this movie. Yeah, he got like, um, well he would talk to her ass because he said, I forgot how you feel, what you feel. Like. You been going so long for a week. I forgot what you feel like. You like, really, dog? I got punked there in the f I died. I died right there. That shit was hilarious. But, um,. You got him in there too, and you know we just basically see the entire group of all of his uh, apprentices actually coming together, actually working together. He got like a whole team of bat, um, well basically bat warriors, to um, fight the crime. He can't do it all by himself, and um, it's pretty cool to actually see all that come together. The action war like completely amazing. I mean, I was just at the edge of my seat the whole time watching like this shit is cold as hell they even have a few comedy type scenes in there you'll see well, you'll know what I mean when you see it and after me said they got Natalia in her ass I mean honestly she got uh, cause with her her where other uh, guy hugged her he hugged her small her back and he cuffed the right of her butt cheek we hugged her but still like every time you looked at her like her ass was always there like in the stream I'm like damn they know how to draw asses. Mm -mm -mm. It was one of those type of days, but um, it was pretty cool. It just one thing I had problem with, like with one of the building got killed a little bit in the middle of the story. I thought that he needed to be there at the end because it feel like they waste his character because he could have been like a actual ultimate threat. But you know, like they need like beside who they were fighting, they needed like one ultimate threat. But I guess just because one of the good guys was a bad guy. At that time, because they were blank brain rocks, it just still feel like they still need that guy that killed up earlier to actually be a threat. But other than that, this movie is actually worth watching. I'm gonna actually go see the Son of Batman because it on um, it on uh, Amazon Prime, so I'm gonna check that out. I'm also gonna check out um, Batman vs. Robin. That's something else I need to see as well. So yeah, pretty cool to actually see Damien as a character. I gotta tell Chris that uh, Damien was not an actual clone. Bruce Range just fuck old girl. I got Damien. That what he did. But everybody, but she's just try to create clones from Damien Sale to have like a superior person due to the lingerers that they actually came from. But she always has a failed project because they always have emotions. They always wanna have memories and they wanna be loved just like how Damien is. But it never actually worked like that. So she, every time they get to that point, she already killed them off. But I heard that the Teen Titan for the Justin League movie is the next uh, movie. So 
I can't wait to see how that gonna turn out. And yes, you guys gonna see a little bit more Astro DC or Marvel. Uh, well, I never look at Marvel cartoon uh, movie, but I mostly look at DCs. So you'll see more reviews where I actually try to check out most of them. And hopefully, I can check out some with John for me and John to actually review it, actually collab, and actually show you. Well, tell you guys exactly what we think together, because you know make the video a little bit longer than what I normally would do. Ugh. But anyway, make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out eBar. The book is actually officially out. The uh, paperback is out right now. It's $14.99. The eBook, you can pre order the eBook. It's $4.99 for the eBook. You can pre order it. The eBook will be ready by the 10th. And um, also, if you do buy the paperback, you can get the eBook for free. And you get the, you can read the book for free on Amazon Unlimited, uh, Limited as well. So. Check that shit out. Support your bruh. And have a good one, you guys. Peace out.